Okay, hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I had a successful weekend at Street Weekend, which is what those numbers are for there on the 63. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film very much of it, but the, the weekend was a success. However, we're going to work on something different today. So, not the 74, not the Mexi, not the 63. We're going to be working on this thing. This is my 1994 T4. Uh, and the gear selector is broken, so I'm going to fix that and show you how it's done. So what we're looking at here is the linkage on top of the gearbox, which is this thing here. You can see these cable ties that I put on as a temporary fix. I'll cut those off and then show you what's what with it. Um, that was a temporary fix to get me home, which works really well, but obviously it needs a permanent fix now. Right, cable ties removed, we've got this selector rod here which should have a nylon ball at the end which sits inside this thing which VW call a clevis. The other end of it, if I can get the camera down there, I um, can't really see too clearly because of this pipe. There, there we go. The other end of it sits in that there, there's a, a ball inside a nylon bush. Um, so can get to move no. There we go, that's it. You can see it moving there. And that's it, it's nice that bush. I think that end's okay, so I'm just gonna stick the new ball that I've got on that end and probably replace this this clevis as well. So here's a better look at the parts. That's the new clevis. That is the nylon ball that goes in the end and goes inside there. This smaller of the two balls, you see it's smaller. And this socket are the other end, which I just showed you, which I think are probably okay. And then we've got this little roll pin as well, because some vans use a roll pin to hold one of these balls in. I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but I've got a new pin just in case. So I'm going to take the, the clevis off the engine, replace that ball, may as well stick the new clevis on. I don't think I needed this, but I didn't want to be stuck without it if I didn't need it, so I bought it anyway. Um, yeah, so that's it. Two bolts hold that on onto the gearbox, and then we push that ball on. May need that pin. We'll find out in a minute. So the clevis is held on with two 10mm bolts, and then I was able to just slide that new ball on there. Not really very difficult at all. Um, I'm going to leave the other end. It's it's not got any movement. I did replace it not that long ago actually, um, and I um, haven't really got time to do it tonight. So. I'm going to leave that end, that's fine, there's hardly any movement in it. So, next thing now is just put that new clevis back on, I've cleaned the bolts up, and that should be that. And that's it done. Couldn't be easier. Uh, the symptoms of this failing were that I couldn't get it in reverse, and then eventually I couldn't get it in first or second either. Um, it, it was because it just wasn't selecting properly because that white ball, that white ball had just completely disappeared. So the, the cable ties were a temporary fix to get me home, which worked perfectly, and now this is a permanent fix. Literally 10 minutes of a job using a 10mm spanner and a rag, and that's it. Dead easy. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, stick around, subscribe, comment, like, and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.